What's up everybody? This is Hugging the Road. I'm with Mike Ballator. We're going to go through his factory test car 71 Corvette. So Mike, tell us a little bit about this 71 Corvette that you stumbled on. Well, so I found it at a estate sale and they didn't know what it was. And so I bought it super cheap thinking that it was fake. And when I got it here to Lake Havasu, the NCRS Mark, Judge Mark told me that it was real and he pointed out the nine unique things about this car. Wow, so what, so what were all the unique features of this Corvette? I mean, it's, you know, it's a 454 LS6, it's a, it's a test car as well, so it was never sold at a dealership, right? Correct. Mm -hmm. It was supposed to be crushed and those guys saved it from the crusher. And it's also a ZR2 car, but it has every option on it from the factory you could get on it. Wow. In 71. So what colors is yellow for uh, I think it's uh, saffron yellow. I wow. don't know. Wow. It's very, it's original paint though, mostly. Oh, that is original paint. Yes. Oh man. Yeah, that's, that's a good, that's a good stance on this third gen vet here. It has deluxe interior. Mm -hmm. It has the M22 transmission and aluminum radiator. Oh, wow. Yeah, so what other options did you have for interior space? So did you get different gauges? Did you get different uh, shifters or anything like that? Or? The interior has white piping, which nobody's ever seen. Mm -hmm. White stitching, I mean, not white piping. Yeah. Wow. And it's got a short throw shifter from the factory. And this is the Muncie, right? Yeah, it's an M22 close ratio heavy duty. Mm -hmm. Wow. They call it the Rock Crusher. Yes. Nice. Wow, that thing sticks. It's pretty, uh, uh, that's unique too. But everything else is basically the AM FM radio and the regular Z uh, LS6 gauges with the 6500 tack. Mm -hmm. And it has 54,000 original miles on it. 54,000 original miles. But it also has tilt and tele wheel. Tell us what's under the hood here. So LS6 454, give us a little rundown on that. It's completely stock, but it has some unique one-off things on it. Like it has stamped aluminum valve covers. Mm -hmm. Wow, so that's really, yeah, even the paint's kind of not, it's, it's kind of flicking off a little bit, but I mean, I mean, look at that though. Yeah. Yeah, no, but, no repros here. That's but everything on the car end to end is all numbers correct. And then there's these little things on the on the headlights. Tell us a little bit about what these are. These are squirters to clean the headlights. Mm -hmm. And so that so was that a rare option for '71? I've never headlights? seen it on another car. <clears throat> wow. I've seen it in the option book, but I've never actually seen one on a car. So Mike, this is a factory test car Corvette. So tell us a little bit about, you know, what they did, like how GM handled them or like how many there are in existence. Well, so they were, there was nine of them as far as I know, mm -hmm. by information, by, and that was told to me by a Corvette engineer that worked for Chevrolet back in the day. Mm -hmm. And so <clears throat> the test cars were made just to get them to pass emissions and see everything was gonna work. And this one was driven around by a GM executive. Mm -hmm. So it has bungs on the exhaust elbows so they can do uh, testing for a sniffer. Oh yeah, there it is. Yeah. Yeah, I wonder how this thing sounds too when you fire it up. Sounds great, runs perfect. Well, Mike, thank you for showing us around this 71 test car Corvette. Uh, yeah, awesome ride, a lot of rare features, uh, stuff you don't see every day on these 71 vets. Anything else you want to add to that? Yeah, don't sit them in the garage and wipe them with a diaper, drive them around so people can see them. And that's what it's all about. Thank you for checking us out. We'll see you on the next one.